Hello friends, myself Dr. Srinath Mazdekar once again welcomes you. Now today instead of going for the research projects or research fields in the mathematics which are in the future, we are going to have a topic that is proposals in mathematics. At the time of submitting a proposals in mathematics, what are the positive points you have to go and what are the negative points you don't have to go that is do's and don'ts. So let's see what is mathematics now as a, all of you know as compared to the other subjects mathematics is the subject where one can directly take the apparatus or objects and start taking the reading or some kind of explanation which also works in seminar topic as well as some particular subjects thus as everybody says it's a queen of science so one should take the care of each and every topic now going for the submission of proposal maybe the submission of book proposal maybe the submission of thesis what should be the positive point one should have or what should be the do's and don'ts we'll see in our this youtube video so let's see first of all we'll see what are the some uh, research grants from where one can have as compared to the india okay uh, so what are the research grants from where one can have mathematics proposal so institution where minor or major projects postdoc fellowship in mathematics can be submitted so the first one is serve core research grant then mhrd then mbhm postdoctoral fellowship matrix this is especially for mathematics but we have the condition that you have to complete your PhD and five years after PhD and with good qualification of publications. Then we have UGC grant sub projects under UGC core research grant also, Department of Science and Technology, then RUSA, International Mathematical Union at international level. Then we have ICSR, ISRO, Indian Council of Science, Social Science Research and Indian Space Research Organization. Then we have ICR, agriculture resource as an application of mathematics towards agriculture. One can have this type of projects also. Then we have Bill Gates Foundation India and Tata Foundation. Then we have specially for National Handicap Finance and Development Corporation. Then we have scholarship scheme for students with disabilities, a scheme of Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Then we have Department of Atomic Energy. Yes, they give you the lots of grants for mathematics field with applications in atomic energy department of atomic energy then we have national science and technology management information system if somebody wants a joint work then we have japan society for the promotion of science at international level then we have national academy of sciences india and some ngo portals are there there are lots of ngo portals who also give you for research funding as an application towards their projects other than this we regularly we have university bodies some research funding bodies and local NGOs also they give you the funds for various mathematical projects including survey type projects also like uh, right now we are in pandemic situation so what are the percentage of one can have death with the age above 35 and below 45 like that okay so it's like a survey projects also there are lots of agencies other than this one can go for mathematics funding so at the time of submission of research funding or research projects first of all you have to submit a research project proposal so at the time of proposal what we should do and what we should not do will come to this point let's see those Yes, make sure your title of that project proposal or thesis proposal or maybe book proposal must be a short title. It should not be a long title, okay? Then the interpretation should be corrected, okay? So it should be related with the title. It must be a word limit because you are proposing or you are submitting a research proposal. You are not submitting the whole thesis or whole proposal, okay? Complete research project. It's a proposal, so it should have a word limit. You should have a mathematical logic, the logic behind what is you are going to submit and what kind of 
proposal you are going to submit it must be either study or an application point of view one should not uh, one should avoid that uh, study as well as applications yes one should put up national as well as international status of your current proposal so what is going on or what happened or what is happening at national level as well as international level so that you can relate your proposal it's this proposal to national as well as international level it in case of proposal submission one should put up ama subject classification american mathematical society 2010 subject classification so that whenever it reaches to the one can say that a mathematician he directly classify by using this subject classification code he can classify whether it is related to the his area or one can say that whether it is related to the actual title also okay then the references should be in journal or project format one should not have after a z x y like that okay when it should be either in a to z format starting from name or maybe surname okay so it should be in a particular format whatever the journal is giving or whatever the project proposal fund funding agencies are giving avoid copy paste this is the most important you cannot just go search on the google or any other search engine just copy that the whole word or the whole line and just paste here avoid such things objectives should be mentioned yes when you are putting a title in the title whatever the proposal also and the title also the objectives of that proposal should be mentioned then you should mention your planning that uh, at first year level i am reading or maybe at uh, first term say 6 months year planning 6 months or half year that is called as half year planning or maybe one year planning that at first half i am reading such and such books then in the second half i am going for the on field project actual project or maybe applications point of view and then in the next year or the next half taking the readings reading in terms of maybe a survey okay so it should be a year wise planning conclusion should match with the title this is important because the title is different and the conclusions are different though it is not of any use okay the required amount should have a clarification when you are submitting something for the travel grant and submitting something for the contingency what why it is required you should mention in case of projects okay acknowledgement yes in case of funding for the projects from other things also for some part if your college or if your institute is funding for something then you should acknowledge them okay and the most important it should be taken for the first time but i am taking the, the last introduction that is one can have alternative word that history of that proposal proposal means title of the proposal so introduction should be a short but in well manner it should have well references so that just reading by an introduction one should have a some idea about the proposal these are the do's one can have other also now what you should do not go for writing a research proposal that is don'ts a long title yes misinterpretation should be avoided misinterpretation uh, means when you are writing a title and the content and the title they are misleading that is like study of something something and you are writing the applications in the inside the project okay or maybe the title is from the pure mathematics and you are writing the whole conclusion and the complete task inside that project is with applied mathematics which is totally different from the title also so there should not be a misinterpretation don't go beyond the word limit yes whenever they are submitting or maybe they are giving that uh, that introduction should be of 200 words abstract should be of 150 words maximum so at that time you should go for the word limit you should not go for the beyond the word limit okay poor mathematical language this is important most of the cases the proposal were rejected due to poor mathematical language 
the english language and the mathematical language are totally different okay so mathematical language should be good so avoid poor mathematical language both as i earlier said both study and application should be avoided in most of the cases you either you go for study of something with applications of this okay so such kind of proposals should be avoided without status yes not inclusion of ams 2010 subject classification in case of proposal submission references without details some someone may just add the author name paper name and the number of pages but year is missing maybe the journal name is missing so avoid that cut and paste yes you don't go for the cut and paste no objectives if there is no objective in your proposal then how we are going to submit a proposal or how we are going to do the work okay so no year wise planning that is also if somebody is adding everything and if there is no planning or if he does not add any kind of a planning that he is going to do then it is not going to work inclusion of title with numbers okay you should not add a title uh, containing the numbers okay generally mathematics so generally mathematics so inclusion of title with numbers then we have long and irregular conclusion conclusion should be short as compared to the others any irregularity also okay as compared to or we can say that as compared to the title there should be a relation between conclusion and the title okay excess amount of word without clarification that is also not done okay and without acknowledgement in case of funding so if you have funding from a research fund funding agency then you should acknowledge them okay so these are the don'ts then coming to the point of view towards the ppt presentation when we are now at the time of power presentation of research proposal that is making a ppt of proposal or maybe a project it may be a thesis uh, first introduction towards the say research proposal your research proposal also so first one with the minimum slides and clear aspects this should be there because if somebody wants that complete presentation within a 10 minutes the, whatever the people or public or maybe the referees are sitting in front of you they should want yes a clear aspect of your project proposal within a few slides so with minimum slides and clear aspects should contain abstract of project proposal because in a project complete we will have hundreds and 200 pages but you have to conclude it in a abstract manner history of proposal yes whatever the things already done what you are going to done or what you have done that is what you have to submit it there minimum references because one can have add references at the time of submission also national and international status of the topic should be mentioned year wise contribution should be mentioned clearly if you are like at the time of submitting a proposal it is year wise plan okay then estimation of cost for proposal with bifurcation should be mentioned you cannot just put up we want 2 lakh we want 5 lakh for this proposal why you like why you want 5 lakh why you want 1 million and all the things you should mention there you should have the bifurcation for travel grant i should have this for contingency i should have this for books i should have this so there should be the bifurcation okay your profile yes at last or maybe the first but in most of the cases your profile should be there at the time of introduction only you can introduce yourself on your own which might not contain in the ppt okay and if is there any co investigator you should mention his name and some details okay so this is what all about making a ppt proposal or for the project proposal this can be done for the thesis or research proposal also okay research kind of proposal means phd proposal also you can have this kind of ppt also okay if you have any query you can just put up in the chat box here okay so that i can have the answers for these questions
Now coming to the next point, if you want a book proposal in mathematics, there are lots of agencies, standard groups, worldwide known reputed agencies like Amazon, you can publish your ebook, Philip Publishers, IGI Global Publishers, CRC Press, yes, Springer's, definitely, Oxford University Press, Taylor's and Francis, Cambridge University Press, Lambert Academy Publishing, maybe like local bodies also there, other than this, local NGOs are there, publishers are there, where one can also publish various mathematical projects, books, including survey type books also, which comes under mathematics, especially, okay. So one can have the publication of book proposals. So what we have to take care of at the time of submitting book proposal. So let's see, cares to be taken for submitting proposal for books in mathematics. As compared to the other subject, mathematics have different kind of criteria at the entry level for publishing book. Why? Because one should read with chapters or at least a description. Be ready with maximum solved mathematical problems, which is not there for others. Others can ready with the other subjects can ready with the notes. Okay, but here along with the notes, you have to ready with the solved problems also. Whatever that topic you are going for the proposal of books, tables and figures should be in well manner, proper manner. Yes, the reading should be taken. If you have numerical calculation, the shooting the reading should be in complete manner, that is in scientific manner one can say. References should be correct, yes, chapter name and content should be in correct manner. Otherwise the chapter name is different and the content inside the chapter is different. You should take care of. Then we have book cover which should relate with the name of the book. The book cover makes a lot of difference, okay. That at the time of first, you can say, when I see the book cover, yes, it should be a good, a beautiful as a mathematical point of view, okay. And your profile at last or maybe the first page depending upon the situation. So these are all the proposal making do's and don'ts and you have to take care which things you have to take care at the time of submitting the proposal, okay. So we are dealing with now the next videos like how to go for the submission of proposals with various proposals, thesis proposals, okay. So these are all about mathematics only. I am talking about mathematics only, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.